what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? At least five children were murdered over the holiday weekend and shootings across America, sparking cries to end gun violence that's plaguing their communities. The children ages six to 14 were all shot and killed while doing everyday things like playing in the yard at a cousin's house for a birthday, walking through the mall, sitting in the car with their mother. Sakoria Turner, eight years old from Atlanta, she was killed while sitting in the car with her mother and another adult when gunshots rang out Saturday night on University Avenue Southwest near 175 and 85 Saturday night. Rote Giles, eight years old, was shot and killed when she was caught in the crossfire of a shooting at a mall in Hoover, Alabama. Devon McNeil was killed in Washington, D.C. while visiting family and Southeast Washington when a group of five men began shooting around 9.30 p.m. Saturday. Natalie Wallace, seven, was killed when a group of children were playing in a yard in Chicago's Austin neighborhood when three suspects exited a light-colored vehicle and fired shots at a group gathered outside the home on the 100 block of North Latrobe Avenue. Jace Young, six, was fatally struck by gunfire Saturday night in San Francisco's Bay District as he was attending a birthday party. There were shootings all across America over the holiday weekend. They was turned up, fam, shooting everything, killing everything. There was 44 shootings in New York that affected 63 people. Chicago, you know how that go, 75 people had been shot over the weekend as early as Sunday, 13 fatally. I want to know, where are the men? Where are the men in these communities? Where are the men in the neighborhoods? You know, because the community can be wide, but the neighborhood, the block, where are the men? Where are the men? If you're a man, even a, just a male, a boy, a young boy, because a lot of boys, you know, they 15, 16, they can get out. You don't feel any kind of obligation to protect your neighborhood? Do you feel any type of obligation to make your neighborhood feel safe? To make the children feel safe? The, the babies, you don't feel no obligation? You don't feel like less of a man having your neighborhood under siege by clowns? Because they ain't gangsters. Real gangsters go to the polls. Real gangsters are politicians, businessmen. They call the shots. They make things move. They have access. And they seldom go to jail. So they're not gangsters. They're thugs. Clowns. All of these causes out here that a person could ride for. All of these people out here that do wicked things to you and your people every day. And this is what you decide you're gonna risk it all for? Most of them, man, they just shoot. All these kids, you see, they, they don't know what the hell they're doing. All these kids dead. None of these kids were the targets. They just shoot, just randomly just shoot. Now, before we go too, any far, uh, too far, because I know some of y'all going crazy with the black on black theme, I know. This really ain't about singling out black on black crime. 
because we know that you got white on white crime and every other type of own crime. You dig what I'm saying? So let's not get caught up in that. The reason why it appears that it's worse with black folks is because the media highlights the murders. They highlight the drama, the urban violence. You know, that's exciting. They're going to talk about how this dude here just took out his whole family over here. And this dude killed his wife and she killed her husband, set him up. All this stuff happens quietly behind closed doors. Oftentimes, you know, black folks are just like the wild, wild west. They just go off where you show off. Wherever it's going down, they just go down right down the spot. It don't matter where it go down. They're inside the mall, at the, uh, at the store. But, you know, the white cats, they do the same thing. They kill in the mall. They kill in the stores. But, you know, it's not categorized as white on white crime. It's just a crime, an isolated crime. whole bunch of isolated crimes, by the way. But... They tend to focus on, wow, well, you know, blacks, the blacks, the blacks, the blacks. So I don't want to, I don't want to try to minimize it, but I'm not going to, but I'm not going to act like it's not a problem. Especially when you're talking about killing these babies, man. Where are the men? And how does these dudes who have this type of mentality have a woman? How do they have a girlfriend? Well, some of them, they don't even like women. But the rest of them. How does a woman, like, give affection to a dude with no heart? A dude with no discipline. How does a woman even get excited for a cat like that? I, don't, I just don't understand it, man. Drop a comment and help me out, fam. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?